Hello, everyone. Welcome back to E20 Zone TV. Uh, just watched West Ham 2, Villa 1 in a game which was like full of drama from my start to finish, really. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable, if I'm honest. And I'm so proud of the boys that tonight. We was up against it, especially with the injuries to Cresswell and Antonio, but I'll get onto that uh, shortly. But one man tonight stepped up. And he stepped up to the plate after it, what I described what he must be going for his health. And that's Andre Yarmolenko. Uh, absolute first class finish. Strikers finish. Proper finish. Proper strikers finish. Um, for me, he was just excellent. He come on and <laughs> he scores a great, great goal. It's absolutely first class goal uh, today. But we'll start off at the beginning. And we come out and we look to right. Against Villa, I must admit, Benny, Benny had a bit of a mixed game for me, and I will get on to him later on. But he had a shot that uh, the keeper saved. He had a shot that went wide. Suchet had an header that went wide. It was a pretty even first half. Villa did have opportunities, but nothing like half chances really. Then, like as the half was going on, it just filtered out into a nil-nil draw in the first half, which. That's the best way I can describe it, really. Fabianski did do a couple of good saves. I must admit, I think Fabianski today was really, really good. Uh, and I'll quickly move to the second half. Second half, we come out and... I'm sorry, but Antonio, to me, irritates me. He irritates me as a as a striker of this club. Uh, for me, like, when he went off, he looked a completely different team. Like, he's what he does going forward, he's good in spells, but you can't do it all the time. But we lost Antonio uh, due to an hamstring injury, it looks like, which is a bit of a blow. It's, well, it is a blow because he's the only striker that we've got. He goes off and then Andre Yarmolenko comes on. And I've got to admit, when he come on, I was really rooting for his geese to, to do something to, to do something special. And he did. He did, mate. He stepped up to the plate massively today. He really, really did. That... Um, the pass from Ben Rama, who I'll get on to, uh, was excellent. Straight into his feet, uh, and it was a turn and shot straight into the bottom corner. And it's a great finish. Let's be honest, take nothing away from uh, Yarmolenko. If that's any other striker in the league, we're all going, quite a good finish. Um, it's an absolute first-class finish. It really, really is. Uh, and we go one new up. And obviously, Dawson missed the chance before we, we went one new up with, like, with an header. Zuma... Made the keeper uh, work, right? Do you know what I mean? But we go one new up through Yarmolenko, which it was like it written in the stars, really, that it was going to be Andre Yarmolenko. Then Villa are coming forward, they're pressing, they're trying, they're doing everything they can to try and get a goal. Uh, Bailey has a shot, it's saved by Yarmolenko, uh, saved by Yarmolenko, saved by Fabianski. Sorry, um, I thought I thought Fab was absolutely first class today. I thought he was excellent. He does some great saves. He really did. Uh, he couldn't do anything with the goal because I just think it's just poor defensive play all round. But I've got to admit, I thought he was excellent. And then, uh, yeah, Benny goes through, pass it to Fournells, and Fournells puts it in the bottom corner and we go 2-0 up. And I'm thinking, lovely, this is going to be comfortable now. We're going to see this out. Happy days. This is West Ham. <laughs> we don't do things comfortably. And he goes and takes the up. He brings Diop on for Ben Rama, which was like written in the stars. Like you just know that he's going to take Ben Rama off. And then we go and concede one through sloppy play all round. Like Ben Johnson uh, like kicks the ball. Uh, Zuma, I thought, played well, makes a mistake. And then they're all over the place, West Ham. And then Jacob Ramsey puts it in the bottom corner. It's 2 1. There's panic stations. Then we're all fighting for our lives to like, try and stay in this game. Um, but do you know what? We see it out, we fought to the end, and I am so proud of the boys. I really, really am. I can't stress enough how proud I am of this of this club uh, today. Uh, we was up against it, right? And listen, people slate Ben Rama, yeah, but he's got two assists today. Listen, he wasn't great. He wasn't vintage side Ben Rama, right? And I will hold my hands up and say that openly. He wasn't vintage, but he did get two, two assists today. So he's, he needs a bit of respect. Do you know what I mean? We need, we need him there, like with other players out injured. Uh, I want to give a shout out to um, obviously Fabianski, who I thought was excellent. Declan Rice today was absolutely first class, first class today, really, really was. 
Um, he kept Coutinho very quiet all, all game. And we, I didn't even know Coutinho was on the pitch half the time. And Watkins, two of their main boys, uh, they was just nowhere to be seen. Um, obviously, let's get to the injuries now. Antonio's hamstring. If that is a tweak of an hamstring, he's out. There's no choice about it. He won't be playing against Seville on Thursday night. Now, I hope it's just like precaution. They just took him off and then he would be ready to go for Thursday. But I wasn't convinced with Antonio today. I'm still, I'm still not convinced. Like, yeah, you might be the record goal scorer at West Ham, but I'm sorry, but I just, I just don't see it. I just don't see him as a striker at West Ham United Football Club. Like, he does it because we've got no one else. And then when a striker comes on today, in Yarmolenko, look at, look at the finish, the first time hit. Like, it, Antonio doesn't do that. He just does not do that ever. Um, so for me, uh, that was that's on him. I thought Cresswell also going off massive blow. Also, like he wasn't great today, Cresswell. But you, you know what? He's the only left back we got. But I've got to admit, I'm going to say Ryan Fredericks done all right today. Right, he come on and he done all right. He did. And I'm not his biggest fan, Fredericks. And I openly say that. But I think he done. I think he done all right when he come on. And Suchek was a bit of a pest in both boxes. So, yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm going to make this quick, uh, pretty short and sweet from me on uh, my faults, and I'll get everyone's faults in the chat. Um, my final fault is this: I am so proud of this club. I'm so proud of the boys today. I really, really am. Even when we wasn't playing well, we still dug out a result, and we're still in that hunt for European football through the league. Thursday night's massive, but we have also got to be massive in the league because the league is important if Thursday goes wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, for me, uh, I'm just so proud of him. And I'm also very, very proud of uh, Andre Yarmolenko. The man must be going through absolute hell that he's been for over the last four weeks, four to five weeks. Um, and how, how that man's mind's been on football, and that's why he's been taken out of it, is is rightfully so. It should have been taken away. But we needed him today because he was on the bench and because Flacid was injured and he came on and I'll tell you what, man, I'm so proud of the kid. Listen, Yarmolenko is not a long-term solution at West Ham, but why he's here, he can make a difference and he's made a difference today. And that, that goal, that game was filtering into a draw, in my opinion. It looked like it, nothing was going to happen, nothing was going to change or anything. And he stepped up with a great goal. And for that, he deserves... Respect, do you know what I mean? So I hope tonight from the fan base that they're all giving him a bit of respect, Yamalenko, and take the Ukrainian situation out of it. Just respect the man because it's a great finish, it's a great goal. But I'm so proud of him. Really, we am. Right, let's get to the chat and let's get to your comments. Let's start off with Mark Brown. How's in? Oh, how important was that? keeping us in the hunt for European football through the league. Totally agree, Mark. Um, we can't put our eggs in one basket with uh, Seville. We've got to make sure that we are up for it in the league and the league is important, 100%. Uh, Fab Shades, man, the match. Uh, for me, Johnson, Yarmolenko, Ben Rummer, fantastic too. Uh, Johnson, not for me. I thought he was poor in the first half. Second half, he got better when he went over to the left. but. Uh, for me, in the first half, he was frustrating me massively. I've got to admit. Uh, Benny. Benny, I like Benny, but you can't fault him today. He's got two assists. And listen, if you play crap and you get two assists, then that's that's a good way of playing. Do you know what I mean? But I've said this uh, from time. Yeah, that Ben Rama will make things happen. Other players don't. And oh, I've always stuck with it, I'm afraid. There uh, we got Ed's in the house. Uh, James, uh, yes, James, it was like a cup final. I'm over the moon. So am I, uh, Joan. I really, really am. Um, that's what a striker can do. Ben Ron with two assists, uh, essential performance. Totally agree. Big Yarmolenko, 100% mark. Uh, what I win, come on, you irons. Yama and Benny on fire. Uh, listen, Ben Rama, right, this is where I'm going to speak later on about Ben Rama, my play range, but I'll give you a bit of a sort of low down from me now on Ben Rama today. I thought he started off very well and then he went so quiet and so just out of it altogether. 
Then when Antonio got injured and had to go off, he just he, he changed into a different player. Do you know what I mean? I just I've always said this. Listen, there's nothing against Antonio because Antonio is a good uh, a good player on his day, but his days are very few and far between. And I think if you get a top striker up there, you see a different side Ben Rama. I've, I've always said this, and I always say it until that happens or or if Ben Rama gets sold. Now, if Ben Rama gets sold, I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous, in my opinion, because it'd be like another Haller 2.0, in my opinion. But I thought Benny, for our mediocre he was today, yeah, you've got to give him some credit today. He's got two assists. And the second goal that he feeds to Pablo Fornell is the pass is absolutely peach perfect. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. It's just in front of him. Go on, Fornell, put it away. And that's what he did. And that's why he deserves a bit of respect today, 100%. I understand why Diop come on, but it was uh, crucial to take Ben Rama off. Moyes is making a point. Uh, yeah, but I don't agree with it. Like, you bring on, um, we're 2 new up, we're cruising. Like, you shouldn't be taking him off, really, but I don't understand it. It was a horrible decision. I don't know, I think he might be mean on that. Um, uh, let me know what you, what you mean, Epic. Uh, maybe Ben Ryan was taken off to get uh, get the applause. Maybe, maybe, like maybe he deserves a bit of credit, like and not keep scapegoated every five seconds. Maybe, but let's be honest, he goes off and then we go and concede one. So it's like, what can you do? Uh, Lenzi played good. Oh, I don't know about that, Jay Woods. I don't know about that, mate. Uh, I thought he gave away the ball loads of times today, uh, uh, Lenzini. I thought he was okay in spells, but like amount of times he give the ball away, he had a chance in the first, uh, second half when the ball comes in, and I'm thinking just put it away, just get something on it, and he gets nothing on it. Gets booked. The standard booking that if you if you like having a bet and lands in, he's playing in midfield or around that midfield area, get him to get booked. It happens every week. Uh, so I disagree on that one, mate. Uh, the point that Ben Rahm needs to come off and not argue about it. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Uh, Suchek's looking better last couple of weeks with his performances. Maybe keep uh, headbands, Thomas. It's, it's a good look. Yeah, he looked like a warrior today, didn't he? He looked like a menace. Um, I think he looks all right today. Listen, Mitchell isn't a, a fan of him. But I think in some games, Suchek's there. Some games he goes missing. And today he was there today. Him and Rice. That was the dream team that we've always seen in like with West Ham. Suchek, Rice partnership. I thought Declan Rice was fucking amazing today. Really was. I thought he handled everything well. His passing was decent. Um, the only thing, the only negative I can give on Declan Rice today is he got booked. That's the only negative I can give him because I thought he was excellent. I really did. Uh, was pleased for Ben Rama today. Didn't see any agenda in this, in his uh, substitution. Now, not for me. I think it was just tactical, if I'm being honest. But it's always a sub, isn't it? He's always a sub. I must admit, it was a class finish from Yarmolenko. I can't imagine what he's going through in his head the last few weeks. Totally agree, mate. Totally agree. Listen, we've, people have gone through a lot of things in their lives, like death and like grievances. That man must be going through hell. He must have family and friends and basically compadres over there who are literally suffering. And that is just and the emotion in the man. Do you know what I mean? And I think if you, if you haven't if you've got an art, you would feel the same emotion for him. I really do mean that. Uh, it was key, Mark. We needed this win uh, near the end. I was like watching that place being spun on the stick. So pleased for Yarmolenko and Benny. I hope these lads are encouraged to keep improving. I think it's massive. I think it's massive for West Ham. I will say that. I think it's absolutely massive result for us. And I can't stress it enough. I think like Filler are a decent side. They went to Leeds the other week. I know Leeds ain't great, but they went through Leeds, no problem. Really did. And Villa are a well-organised team. They've got Steven Gerrard there, who I think is going to be a great manager for them. I really do. And they've got some good players. But I've got to admit, we've got a world-class player in our ranks, in Declan Rice. And I just think he handled Coutinho very, very well. And uh, Watkins. Now, I do like Watkins. I think Watkins is a great player. And I'd love him at West Ham, but I just think he was dead today. He's just nowhere to be seen. Like isolated, Ings was quiet. So it's a big, it's a big result for us. It really is. I thought Ben Johnson didn't have his best game. He looked easy on the ball. I agree. Uh, Mark says Benny kept it simple with the pass for the second goal. We just uh, 
Just need to more of that. Just keep it simple. I agree. Uh, who starts in goal on Thursday? It's probably going to be Ariola Mark. Uh, Villa battered Southampton last week. Yeah, I agree. Villa deserve everything they got today. Two Bob football from a two Bob club. Fair enough, Robin, if you say so. Ariola for me, it's basically a tough call. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm literally over the moon. Like, as I say, like, when you, when you look at Villa, Villa are a, a well organised team. They've got some good players in there, right? Wendia, Bailey, Coutinho, uh, obviously Jacob Ramsey, who scored the goal up, I think he's going to be a great player for them. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I just think it was one of them games today that was like, we, we needed this game to sort of spear us on, on to Thursday. And I think, well, right, I've always said this from uh, my afterthought after the Seville game on Thursday. I said, I fancy this on Thursday. Right? Before the injuries, before uh, 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 before Cresswell and Antonio got injured, yeah, I fancy this. I do fancy this to do them on Thursday, Seville. I really do. Like, it's not going to be easy, don't get me wrong, but I do, think, I, I do fancy this to do it. So I think with the crowd, the crowd will be up for it. It'll be a, like amazing game. And I think all the players will just raise their game 10 or 15% and they'll be on it. So, I mean, if Declan Rice turns up and controls controls their players, then I think we're good. We're, like, we're hot. Um, going back to today, I'm just over the moon, if I'm being honest. I really am. It's a big, big three points. And it's a big week for West Ham. Let's have it right. Because we've got them on Thursday, Seville, and then we've got the big one, Spurs away. And we don't want to lose that one. That's one of the games that we don't ever want to lose like in the season. And it's an even bigger game now because they lost yesterday and we won today. So if we beat them, we go points ahead of them, massive points ahead of them. And, uh, yeah, we, we go sort of marching on. Um, I don't know what else more to say other than like, I'm just so pleased. I really am. Up there laid, apart from Antonio, uh, great win. Yeah, this, uh, let's have a talk about Antonio. Uh, started today, I'll just, I'm just not convinced. I'm just not convinced by him. People love Antonio and you can't say a word about Antonio. Oh, he does this, he does that, he does this. Uh, when I look at him, I think he works very hard, Antonio. He's a pain, but he's just not a striker. He's just not a striker at all, at the slightest. I think you can only go so far with saying that this geezer can do so much. I think against mid-table teams, bottom-end teams, I think Antonio's good. But I think against top teams, he just goes missing. And he, he just proves it for me. And today, when he come off, like Yarmolenko gets a lot of stick. Listen, I'll give Yarmolenko much stick on this channel and on other channels over the last sort of 18 months. But that man comes on, he runs around, he gets stuck in and he's He's a, he's a nuisance. He's a menace. Do you know what I mean? He's he's not vintage, but one thing he has got, he's got a striker's instinct, which Antonio hasn't got. I'm sorry, but you could be a right back, a right wing back, a centre centre half. If you ain't got a striker's instinct, you ain't going to get nowhere. He listen. He scores uh, goals, Antonio, but for me, I want to see someone scoring 15, 20 goals a season regularly, not just ten and ten. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's a major blow, though. I will say that. Now he's out. Where does that leave West Ham now? Uh, I think Cresswell is a major blow also. I will say that. I think Cresswell is... The problem is now is set pieces. We rely on Cresswell so much because of his uh, like corners and free kicks and everything. I think he's more of a blow than Antonio, if I'm honest. Because I think you can get around Antonio. I think you can play Bowen up there, Yarmolenko up there, Vlasic up there. You can do, you can do a lot of things, right? But with Cresswell... You can't. We haven't got a left back. We've got Masawaku who can't defend. So now we've got a bit of a problem there. But I don't want to talk negative today. Right? I want to talk sort of positive, positive vibes. And I'm just over the fucking moon, mate. I really am. I cannot stress it enough because that was an hard game today. I didn't fancy this day. I fancied the draw all day long like I did on Thursday. I thought, I thought West Ham will, this would be a tough one. And if we get a draw out of it, but to win the game. And let's be honest, we should have won it convincingly. Like, we, we shouldn't have conceded that goal. It was sloppy from us. We've got to cut that out. But we did, and we got it done in the end. So let me get to your final comments before I wrap. Benny's best game in a while. Four nails didn't put the ball into Rose Ed. Yeah, 
But the ball into him, though, Luke, is perfect from Benny because that is what he does, I'm afraid. Uh, the, the table is tight. Wolves won, but this win for us was brilliant. Spurs are eighth. That's good. Uh, injuries are killing us. Need to start rotating the team. I do, but that goes back to Moyes, Jay Woods in, in the uh, winter window, which I will discuss later on tonight. Evening, people. Hope uh, we are well. Massive three points today. And that is from Lucas all the way from the US of A. Mark says, fast feet from Yarmolenko for the goal. I didn't know he had that in his locker. He's a good player, isn't he, Yarmolenko? Listen, he's a good player, but is he, is he for West Ham anymore? I don't think he is. But he's a striker. And so we can't knock him. We can't knock him because he is a striker, and that's what strikers do. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just... You see the emotion on the man's face at the end, and it was just amazing to see. Like, that, as I keep saying, the man's probably like life has just been falling apart around him. Like, and all the people he's ever grew up, grown up with, his old school friends and everything in uh, Kiev or Ukraine or wherever he's from, he must be finding it very, very tough. I would be if that was me. So I feel for the, the man. Listen, you have all the money in the world, but family and friends are more important. I've learned that in life. So, yeah, I feel, I'm so proud of him today. Young man can actually control the ball where the ball bounces away from the Antonio. Great comment. Absolute great comment. The amount of times a day the ball just went boing straight off Antonio and back to their players. Listen, as I say, I don't want to go in on Antonio, but Antonio's done great things at West Ham, but he's not the solution. I've always said that. Right? I've always said, go and get the man from uh, West London uh, in the man that I call Ivan Tony. I I've always said that. I think he's a natural replacement for Antonio. And Antonio should be second choice, not first choice. But that's just my opinion on that. Uh, Joan, our players are going like down like flyers, but we are fight on. Uh, yes and no. But it's, let's be honest, it's the first time Antonio's got injured this season. So if Antonio doesn't play on Thursday, then fair enough. He doesn't play against Spurs, then fair enough. But we need him back. We will need him back towards the back end of the season if this... Um, but obviously with other players, I think Cresswell's a major blow. But let's be honest, and I said this on the, back in January, right? Go and get a left back because Cresswell is susceptible to injuries and we didn't get one. Do you know what I mean? And that is a problem. That is a major problem there. And the problem is now is, do you put Ben there? Who today, like I see Ben Johnson be man of match in Seville on Thursday. And then I see Ben Johnson today. I, I, I didn't think he was amazing today. I must admit. I thought he was all right in the second half. First half, I thought he was dreadful, if I'm being truthfully honest. Um, and then what do you do on the right-hand side? Do you go bring... Like, Cafal's injured. If it was me, I'd go Ben on the, on the left and I'd go Ashby on the right. I've always, I like Ashby. I think Ashby's a phenomenally good footballer. Uh, I would love to see him at, in West Ham's first team. And he's got a cross on him and all. And he beats a man. So, for me, uh, we need to shape it up a bit better. Now, we really, really do. Um, so, yeah. What we got here? Johnson, left back. Not Masawaku, please. I agree, mate. I really do. I can't stress enough. Um, if Masawaku plays left back, I don't think we win a game. I really, really do mean that. Because people just target him all the time. And he's he's just, he's a winger. He's, no, he's, he's a left wing back. He's not. He's just not a left back, in my opinion. Lucas, Ivan Tony, Ollie Watkins, Broja, you ain't rocket science, West Ham, get it done. I agree. And that is enough from me. Um, as I've said on this video, I'm going to make this video short and sweet. Um, I had a bit of a, well, a bit of a dilemma last night. Uh, I nearly died. And not to shock anyone, and for some people who probably do wish me dead, well, you was lucky last night because I nearly went. Uh, I had a major allergy attack last night and, um, yeah, it was frightening for me personally. Um, so I'm trying to recover today and get back to fitness. That's why I'm a little bit drained. But, uh, yeah, just don't eat nuts in curries. That's what I'll say on that. Um, I'm a lucky boy. I can't be lucky stars. But West Ham delivered me the perfect remedy today to get us three points. And uh, I do mean that. Um, it's what we needed. It re really is what we needed. Um, moving forward now, Thursday, it's all on that, but we will, we'll, yeah, we will enjoy tonight 
and we are looking good in the league. We are. Do you know what I mean? It's a big game next week against Spurs away. We all know it. We need we need to beat them. I think if we beat them, we will get top six. I am pretty certain on that. Lose against them, it opens the door up for them to come back into it. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, please uh, smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way. It really helps me out. Getting my numbers up. Show you, but look, show look. I can't even speak because of uh, last night. Slowly but surely. Do you know what I mean? I'll get there in the end. Uh, player ratings tonight. Not sure what time. It would either be 10 o'clock, 7 o'clock, or 8 o'clock. It's one of them times. So just keep a lookout for that today uh, on E20 Zone TV from me. Anyway, enjoy your Sunday. Take care. And Yarmolenko, son, you've done us proud. Bye for now.